50 we are going to discuss about compound microscope in optics. Already we have discussed about simple microscope when I took a refraction through convex lens and it is based on the sixth rule. So we have discussed the simple microscope there I had given the image of a compound microscope also for examples. So now we are going to see the compound microscope. Why we are using this compound microscope? To see this minute particle with a magnified version that is magnification, magnification power. So to see a large small particle small which cannot be seen through our eyes. So that can be seen through the microscope and with the large it is enlarged and showing the parts everything no. So that for that purpose we are using this compound microscope. So to see tiny objects and the magnification power of the microscope can be increased by decreasing the focal length of the lens used. So this magnification power is based, you, you want to increase the magnification power, the lens focal length will be decreased. So construction, here they are using two convex lenses. So the one lens with shorter wavelength, it is placed near the object. So they are called as objective lens or objective piece. So in the objective lens have shorter focal focal length, focal length and the lens with larger focal length and larger aperture is placed near the observer eye that is the eyepiece lens eyepiece or eye lens so i had given a picture okay so you can see the eye here which is placed near the eye lens and it is called as eyepiece lens and this place is the objective stage where you are keeping the slide and this lenses are called objective lenses. So the eye lens have larger focal length and the objective lens have shorter focal length. And you are going to keep the slide in the stage that is the objective to in the stage position in the stage you are keeping the slide and you are magnifying with the help of adjust that is a knob here to see the fine structure of the cells. So this is the adjusting screw and this one is the fine adjustment to view the entire cell structure. Okay. So here we are using two convex lens. So you can see a, uh, that is using the convex lens. Here you are eyepiece. That is you are keeping your eye. And this is eyepiece lens. You are viewing the object here through the objective lens and you are adjusting. And while adjusting you are getting the magnification image that is the enlarged portion of the cell. Okay. So by this function, by this way it is working. This is the working condition. So working condition here also you can see the placing the eye in the eyepiece. And you are placing the slide here in the stage through the objective uh, that is objective lenses you are objective lens you are seeing the structure of the lens in the slide okay. So to get a clear why that is clear and magnified one you are using this knob to adjust and to find very fine you are using the fine focusing knob focusing is not uh, nothing but the adjustment knob okay. So here we are using it the same this is the construction so you are keeping your eye on the eyepiece lens and viewing the object object on the stage through the objective lens and after that you are getting a magnified image so this image and you are viewing the entire thing with an accuracy what are the substance present in the cell okay. So next we move on to the traveling microscope. So traveling microscope is the best instrument for measuring small length with high degree of accuracy at the order of 0.01 mm. So this 0.01 mm you come across in the screw cage that is in the previous class you have studied about the screw cage and the veneer caliper. 
so they are used to measure the small instruments okay so in that place this traveling microscope is used to see the small length measuring the small length of the object what you are using and what principle it works means it works on the vernier caliper principle so vernier principle only it is working and its least count is 0.01 mm and you i had provided an diagram of traveling microscope which is not there in your book so you can see the structure so this is the stage and this is and uh, this is this this way they, they, there is an adjustment uh, uh, that is adjustment um, screw is also there to measure the instrument that is to measure the length of the small object okay and on what basis you can see the readings also here uh, that is here that is the adjustment base that is the readings uh, readings uh, that readings are useful to measure the object size also so it is traveling where you can keep you can move this side so this one this, this one you can bring it to this side also by the adjustment screw okay so it is traveling traveling microscope you are taking the instrument to the place where the object is placed okay so that is called traveling microscope and even it is works on the vernier vernier so to find the small adjustment that is the small object length also okay so thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts post your we doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel